Hi everyone and welcome to DIY with Nadia. So today I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul and it's going to be a lot of DIY and craft supplies but it will also have a lot of things that I bought for my home. Without further ado, let's get started on this video. I'm going to start by showing you something that just arrived at my Dollar Tree. Let me know if you've had it before. So this is a set of 12 bamboo skews and they are 32 inches long. Um, they are on the thicker side and these things are humongous. I have never seen this at my Dollar Tree. So I had to pick that up. Um, then the next thing is this shelf liner you guys have seen this the black and white kind of floral print it's a beautiful but i never picked it up so i decided to pick it up and see if i can get creative with it um then i saw this triangle picture frame cute but fierce it looks so cute and i just thought that maybe i can do something with the triangle i don't know I just thought it was something different, so I had to pick it up. Um, more for DIYs, I got these foam beads. And they're more for, I think they're more Christmassy as kind of like snow or something, but I didn't have them, so pick them up. You know how it is. All right, got some gold letters. I'm not too fond um, of the font. But they're shimmery gold letters and then also I got letter stencil it's good to have stencils in different size letters too because sometimes if you don't have the right sticker you can use a stencil moving on with the home stuff I did pick up some baking soda and for a dollar and I love the fact that these have the little windows um, let me see here for the fridge so this is where this one's going to right away I need a new one for my fridge so pick that up um, these are felt rolls now see I'm like picking up holiday the stuff that's left over but at least I feel like when I need it, I know I have it. So a red and a, a, red, a red and a white felt roll. And then look at this fall. Orange and black. I don't understand. And they also had red, but I know I have red already. But I don't understand why they can't get spring colors in in my Dollar Tree. So yeah, so I did get two of these. Just in case they're not going to be available when, you know, in fall. For more DIY stuff, I thought this was so cute. So, you know what palettes are. And if you don't, so palettes are, you know, in warehouses, there's a forklift that goes right in here in these little two, two slots and picks up really heavy boxes uh, and crates and things like that. So... They have a mini one like this. And by the way, there are videos where people actually take the real size one of these and they make benches and couches for the outdoors and stuff. So that's really cool. But when I saw these little ones, I'm like, I have got to get these. So this is what they look like. And they're little. They're uh, four by three inches approximately. And then also I picked up these. Uh, and they're just flat, kind of with a little rise to them right there. So I got those. Then I got a gold box right there, just for a dollar. Um, just gift box. Uh, as I said, I think this is leftover from Christmas, too. Now, this next item, you guys, I used to buy these for $3.99 at Party City. Same size, same, th I mean, exact same thing, same feel, same everything, and it's these guys. So I really do feel like I've been ripped off, but it's the exact same thing, and I 
think this is so awesome. These are really great for candy, for decorating, for any anything. So my kitty decided to say hello, Leo. He hears me working over, or you know, getting things out, and he's like, "What do you have there?" So yeah, this is an amazing value because I'm telling you, Party City still has these for $3.99. Possibly on sale $2.99, $1.99, but still, anytime you want, nine, you know, 99 cents. So, that is a great, great uh, value for those. Then, I'm sure this probably came with a top, maybe not. So, I got this candle holder, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but the side of it is so beautiful. It has this gorgeous, gorgeous print on it kind of you know on the glass itself that i'm probably going to eventually do a diy with it but i just could not pass up because it was so so beautiful and then i just got this regular little mason candle um and this is i think vanilla or something it's something simple so i got that my kitty wants to smell it Since we're doing uh, candle stuff, I did pick up this little kind of jar or, pen or, or a maybe candle holder, and it has right like um, indented. Oh, Leo, oh my little kitty is making a mess here. What's going on, baby? You're stepping on my my keyboard. Sorry for that interruption. Might not be, uh, he might be upset and he'll, he'll come back eventually, but, um, then I got this glass, a little candle holder, um, and I thought this was, just the shape of it was unique and pretty, so I picked one up like this, but as I was saying, this one has little squares kind of like risen on top of the glass itself very pretty I like that one then I picked up a mirror just a round mirror then I got these mini square bowls and these are great for appetizers like some people make jello in them pudding things like that and put like those little uh, spoons in them these are so great for parties and as I said I told you Kitty's gonna be back. Um, then I picked up craft from Crafter Square. Picked up some beautiful brushes, and this one's really, really tiny. So I was interested in this really, really tiny one, if you can tell. And then this bigger flat one. This one's nice too. So I thought just great combo. So I picked both of those up. Then I got a salt and pepper shaker. Moving on with the houseware stuff. Then I picked up, um, just to try it out, I already uh, vented it, but um, toothbrush, electric toothbrush. Just test it out. I'm going to give it to my nephew <laughs> so he can let me know how he likes it uh, because I use my, you know, I have like the, the one that charges and stuff, but I just thought for a dollar, electric toothbrush, why not, you know? Um, let's see here. Then I got some beads. Now, these brown ones right here, they are hair beads. And they are so, so pretty. It's just the brown color is so just, I don't know, I just oaky and just smoky, kind of brownish. I don't know. I like it. I love this color. But then again, I went all... And I picked up these colored ones, so we'll see what we'll do with that. If I don't feel like using them in a DIY, I might give it to my niece. Not a big deal. Then I did get some mirrors. This one I don't want to, because it's in a... But it's basically a square mirror. And I picked two of these up. So this one, and that's two. Then I did pick up some baskets. Um... So I have like this rectangle basket that I picked up. 
You guys have seen these. Then I picked up the same one in white, um, but a round one. And then this one is kind of, I don't know if you can tell, it's gold. So it's a gold kind of clean basket like that. Then picked up another one of these. I love these boxes. It's a, it would be good shoe box. What is it called? Storage box. But I like it because cl it's clear and I do store some DIY um, things in there. Then I did pick up some shot glasses. They're just clear little glasses. Um, then everything, if you see me like stroking things off of items, that's because I did pick up some Spanish moss. And Spanish moss does come open because it needs to kind of breathe. So that's why you see everything has something on them because of the Spanish moss. But anyway, so I did pick up some Spanish moss and then also some floral moss. And I just love using these. Okay. Then I did pick up a notebook and it says love yourself. It's love yourself on there. Sorry, the ring light is going to, is a bling. Oh, so it's on there. So it's so pretty and it's just a, re a really cute little notebook with tear away pe pages. So that's nice too. So that's kind of just a nice little handy notebook to put in your purse. Because I always have to have something in case I have an idea and a phone is not enough because sometimes when I have an idea, I need to draw it. I need to draw what it's going to look like. So that's why I do need a notebook with me at all times. Um, then I have a rug in my bedroom that wasn't enough and like it keeps on slipping. So I just bought this piece and this is 18 inch by 28 inch piece of, um, non-slip uh, rug underlay and it's not bad you know for a dollar you get a nice piece and you know I need a little bit of it it's not like I need a whole sheet so that works out nicely all right so the next thing I got was this butterfly and it's not in very good condition because the black right here started coming off a little bit, but it was the only one that was left in this beautiful, beautiful purple shade. With, like it's purple and blue. It's so pretty. And so, of course, it's a wind chime, but I did want the pretty uh, kind of like that purple blue butterfly. It was just so pretty. I, I couldn't pass that up. So I got that. And then I got the, I got a windmill. It says welcome on here. Little windmill. I'm telling you guys, the quality of these windmills are so, so sad. So, so sad because they're literally, they're just, they're kind of like, you feel like you're working with foil. They're like thin, thin, thin. But if you, you know, put, use it in a DIY, store it away, it'll be all right. Okay, let me put these away kind of. Leo, this is not for you. Kitty's sitting right here. He didn't go too far. He came back like I, like I knew he would. All right. So the next thing, I did get some paper, not paper, plastic plates. And this one has a silver and this one also. So I got two sizes. And these one, uh, so the big ones come four in a set. And the small ones come six in a set, just so you know. I picked up this tray last time and I liked it so much. I thought it was kind of like more on the sturdier side and I thought it was so pretty because I really didn't like, I don't know if you can tell, there's like kind of squares right here. But the thing is the squares are underneath. So if you spray paint this, all it has is this beautiful, beautiful um, design on the outside. So it's a lovely, lovely display tray. Then I picked up this saucer or charger actually, charger plate. And it's that it has that wooden feel, which I love. And I picked up one because I kind of want to put it with my dishes and see if I like it, see if it'll 
flow with what I have. If not, then I'll make it a tray. I mean, it's not a big deal. And then uh, I think last, right? I think I, I got everything. So the last thing is this pizza pan. And I'm probably going to do a DIY with it because I don't eat pizza on. I know I'm probably the only one in the U.S. who doesn't eat pizza. But no, I'm not a pizza person. And yes, I am in Chicago. And no, I don't like the deep dish. But <laughs> anyway, um, because I do get that, <laughs> asked that all the time. Like, how could you not love pizza in Chicago? Anyway, I'm going off the subject a little bit. Pizza pan. I thought this was so nice. I see so many beautiful DIYs um, with this tray. So I'll think of something and... I'll try to put my spin on it and do something pretty for you guys. Well, that is it for this video. Leo, you might as well say bye to everyone since you've been sitting here the whole time. But that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. I think I did okay. Got some things for the home. Uh, quite a few supplies for myself too. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. Say hello. No.